Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. In this video, I am going to show you how to use live server extension in VS Code. Now, before starting this video, first I want to say the live server extension does not work by only installing. You have to apply some settings and make some changes and you have to also know how to use live server extension after installing. So don't skip the video and watch the video till end if you want to know complete information about live server extension and how to use it properly. So don't further delay, now let's start. Now before starting this video, if somebody does not know about what is live server extension, then first I want to show what is live server extension. You can see I open my Visual Studio code, now I open my browser and this is my project. And now let us suppose if I make change in my CSS file, I change the black color to white, but the change not updated on my browser because the live server extension is not installed in my VS code. So how can I apply change on my browser? First I have to CSS file. Then I have to go on my browser and then refresh the page. So it is very long task. So what you have to do? You simply have to install live server extension. So how you can install live server extension? Simply click on file. Now click on preferences and now click on extension. And in search bar simply type live server. Now after this click on install. I just expand it little. Now I click on install. And now the live server extension installed successfully. I simply close this extension setting and close the chrome browser now. First we have to make some changes into the settings. So simply click on setting icon and now click on settings and select after delay from here. And now below you can see it is the time of updation of your code. So 1000 mean 1 second. So you can set any time according to you. I set it 500. Now that's it. Now I recommend you close everything. After closing everything. Now the most important part how the live server extension work. Live server extension works only when you open your project into a folder or using the help of folder. If you open your project by using file then it does not get work. So as you know in my file or in my project there are two files one is html and one is css. So what I have to do if I want to use live server extension then I have to place all file into one folder and then I have to open that folder in vs code. So I simply create a new folder on desktop. You can give any name, I give social media. Now I place both files HTML and CSS into that folder. So I place it. Now I can use the live server extension properly. So this is the biggest mistake which is done by the beginner and beginner does not understand why the live server extension does not work after installing because live server extension only work when you open your project into folder. So after this I simply open my VS code for opening folder, simply click on file and now click on open folder and my folder on desktop with the name of social media so I open it. Now you can see the folder is get opened successfully and it contains two files design.css and html file. So I open both the files. Now second important thing. Now after opening you must have to open html file. It does not matter you open css file or anything but you have to open html file. So because the project which is run in browser is the html project or we can say html file is run on the browser. So as you can see, I open my HTML file, now right click anywhere onto the project and simply click on open with live server. And when you click this, browser opens automatically. Now you can see the browser get open automatically. I simply reduce the size of VS code to show you now the live server extension work properly. For showing you, I simply open my CSS file again and I replace the white color to black. And when I replace the white color to black, you can see browser get updated automatically. So you can see the benefit of live server extension. So hopefully guys you understand everything how the live server extension work. If you are a beginner then you have to watch this video and share this video with your friend. So that your friend does not feel any difficulty while installing live server extension. If you have any query comment down below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this. Subscribe my channel for latest update. Thank you. See you soon in next video.